Woo! Boys, we are gonna get a little sentimental in this one. Me personally, I suck with endings and I really have a love and hate relationship with them. I know that all good things need to come to an end eventually, but that doesn't mean that endings still really tug at your heartstrings. Today I'll be talking about a set of light novels slash mangas I practically grew up with and spent the last 6 years or so reading, loving, crying when I read them, and just pretty much going through all the emotions. It absolutely sucks that these series are going, but I rather would like a series that goes out with guns blazing like Cowboy Bebop than have 10,000 chapters like One Piece. <laughs> Uh, this this kind of sounds like a eulogy, but just think of it as an appreciation post. The first series I want to talk about is Konosuba. The last volume, 17, will be shipped out May 1st, 2020. And man, what could I say about anime's most useless party? I still remember watching season 1 in high school and going like, Yo, this is funny as shit. For so long up to this point, we just had generic isekai trash so i really geeked out with konosuba and just greeted it with open arms because it shitted on the isekai trope by being even more trashier than generic isekai that we had and you can't get any better chemistry than kazuma's party a useless perverted neat a eccentric useless water goddess that gets covered in frog slime every other scene a mage with eighth grade syndrome that has a freaking OP finishing move but instantly fades when using it and a crusader with 10 million defense because she is an absolute masochist. Even with set personalities and not really getting any character development whatsoever, I still found myself tuning in every week just to laugh at the misery of this useless party. I think the funniest scene for me was when Kazuma was taking a bath with darkness. We are kind of getting into not safe YouTube territory, but Kazuma visited the succubus establishment, and that same night, Kazuma woke up thinking that he was in a succulus trance. So he decides to get up, go take a bath, and when Darkness, who is completely naked, walks in, Kazuma thinks he's still in a dream and just says, Yo. <laughs> and Kazuma, with that smug ass face, is like, Yo, this is pretty tight. The succubus is really hooking it up with that 4K quality view. The Kazuma is like, come over here and wash my back. And while Darkness is washing his back, Aqua in the back room is like, Yo, I found a succubus and I'm about to light her ass up. Nani? It is these ridiculous situations that really gets you laughing like a mofo. And it's definitely the grandchild of GTO with all those priceless face zoom ups and perfect comedic timing. Man, Konosuba, you got me through some harsh times in high school, and I'm definitely going to pour one when this series finishes. Next up, we got Overlord. It was announced that Overlord would finish in volume 17. What could I say about anime's most favorite isekai anti-hero of all time? I thought that I was going to get a cute typical fantasy, but instead, we got some berserk savagery. I don't want to really spoil too much, but I still vividly remember when a group of Avengers stumbled into Ainz's tomb and came across Ainz and his floor guardians themselves. And boy, Ainz eradicated these fools. Just seeing the sense of despair in the adventurers' faces gave me a chill down my spine. But it was truly satisfying in a twisted way to see mankind's spirit being crushed into 10,000 pieces by Ainz and his underlings. And I think what was entertaining as hell for me is that all of Ainz's underlings see Ainz like an almighty supreme being to the point where they marvel every time he opens his mouth. Like if Ainz is in the field burning up ants with a magnifying glass and says, this is fun. Demiruge is like, Naruhodo. Ainz really intends to carry out world domination. Then he proceeds to round up 20,000 troops, goes to Ainz and says, Lord, we are ready to carry out your world domination. Hmm? Oh. But on a sadder note, the real reason why I heard Overlord is ending 
is that the writer behind the series, Kugane Maruyami, is reaching burnout. He originally intended to end the series in 18 volumes, but due to frustrations of illegal translations of his work and just losing the motivation to write, Maruyami is like, okay, it's time to end the series on my own terms. And we may never get that 50 plus volumes of Mr. Bone Daddy, but Overlord has been one hell of a ride. The last series I kind of want to touch upon is A Devil is a Part-Timer. And hands down, this is the best reverse isekai of all time. And I don't want to hear it, this was truly a top tier rom-com series in every right. And you guys know exactly what I'm going to ask. Where the hell is season 2? That is a whole separate video, but White Fox, y'all lost your goddamn mind. Y'all lost big time for not animating a continuation of this beautiful series. So what the breaking news is, The Devil is a Part-Timer will end with volume 21 this summer. Me personally, I'm only at volume 7, but there is just some juicy stuff that takes place after the anime series ended. But going back to the anime series, the real reason why I found this series so genius is the, just the dichotomy of having a cast of supreme demons and heroes trying to assimilate as broke young adults in Tokyo. And of course, they always need to include an innocent Japanese high school girl. My favorite part was definitely the bickering between all the characters, just with Mao in a DF mood. Asia being the mom and Emmy just exploding every 10 seconds. And the facial expressions in this series was completely priceless. Like when Emmy's friends was like to Chio, yo, you have feelings for Mao, right? And then mid sentence, Mao walks in and Chio is like. <laughs> that scene gets me every time. I just want to end this segment with a subtle flex by saying that your boy has acquired the episode 10 storyboard. You know, the one about Chiho's hamburger buns. God bless my wallet for this one. But anyways, it absolutely sucks that these series are coming to an end, and I mean even Demon Slayer is ending soon, which is gonna be a trip in itself. But it's understandable after giving us over 5 years of laughter and joy that these authors have every right to end these journeys. And if you really mess with these authors, even if they end their series, you know that they're going to directly follow up with another banger. Thank you guys for watching this video. Guys, we are almost at 7k. If you really mess with my content, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and share these videos with your friends. It would mean a lot to me. God bless you guys. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.